So with the new Warzone experience dropping tomorrow with the new Warzone map, I want to go over 10 possible meta loadouts that I think will be very good on day one. We have a class setup for pretty much every category, so go ahead and drop a like on the video in case you guys want to come back to this video and grab the loadout on day one when you have the game loaded up. So let's go ahead and go over these 10 loadouts that I think will be good on day one, starting out with the most famous, you know, assault rifle in Call of Duty history, the ACR. Now, for some reason, I have a gut feeling on this. I could be wrong, but I feel like that this year's ACR is going to be a a lot like last year's m4 now what i mean by that is that the acr is always going to be good it's always going to be meta they're never really going to buff it or nerf it just because of how familiar and nostalgic this gun is to a lot of people and so with weapons like that i feel like they just never touch it and it's just always going to be good just for people to go back on if they don't really know what's good in the current state of Warzone. Here's the class setup for it. So I put on the 40 round mag and the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop, which is the underbarrel, the T51 billeted break, the 16.5 MCW cyclone long barrel. And then finally for the optic, obviously you guys can rock whatever you want, but this new optic I've been really enjoying in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. It's called the MK.3 reflector. For the secondary, we have the WSP swarm, my favorite SMG in the game. I mean, I just get Mac 10 vibes while using this thing. It's got clean iron sights, bro. The range on it is pretty good. The recoil is pretty controllable. And uh, it literally looks like the Mac 10 as well for some reason. But here are the attachments on it 50 round mag, high grain ammunition, mono suppressor, the fortress heavy stock, and the Marauder grip. Next up, we have the Holger 556, another great assault rifle. Kind of reminds me of the ACR, and it plays like the ACR, in my opinion. I feel like the ACR is just a tad bit stronger, and that's why I would probably give the nod to the ACR over the Holger. But this is still a great option at, as an assault rifle, and I definitely recommend using it on day one. And then you're going to want to pair up the Holger with the Renetti pistol. I mean, Renetti, man, let, let's be honest, best pistol in COD history. I mean, name a better pistol than the Renetti, bro. You can use it at range. You can build it as an akimbo build, which I'll have later down this video. Uh, this is the long range build on it. Definitely recommend using this with the Holger or like with the sniper. So here are the class setups for that. So for the Holger, we have the 40 round mag, the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop, the Sonic Suppressor, the six match barrel. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. The MK.3 reflector optic or really any optic of your choice. And then for the Renetti, we have the CN30 suppressor, the 30 round mag the Bruin Express Trigger Action, the Slate Reflector, and then finally for the laser, we have the FJX DIOD 70 laser. But next, man, we have a fan favorite, a very nostalgic gun when it comes to Warzone, the Bruin MK9. A lot of people called it the Nick Merckx meta in Warzone 1, which I thought was pretty funny. It's back in Modern Warfare 3, and it might be back in Warzone. We'll find out tomorrow, but this gun is just really fast. It's very easy to use, man. There's barely any recoil to it. The damage range is very good as well. So I'm very excited about the Bruin being back and possibly being being meta on day one we'll see but here's the attachments for it we have the 60 round mag the f tech msp 98 hand stop the sonic suppressor the 23 inch xrk horizon v2 barrel and the aim op v4 optic and then you know we had to pair the bruin up with the akimbo snake shots or the tyrs i mean these things are absolutely deadly they don't have the greatest damage range as you can see up to 10 meters doesn't even get a hit marker these things are really meant for like really close engagements probably up to like five meters you'll probably two shot someone maybe even three shot with these snake shot akimbo pistols so we have ali's regret trigger action the akimbo attack attachment the snake shot ammunition the heavy long barrel and then finally we have the one milliwatt pistol laser now for loadout number four man we are trying the cat amr sniper i really think that snipers are going to be a lot more impactful this year i mean every time you pulled out a sniper last year it just felt like you were a liability the snipers were just completely irrelevant last year they took them out of the game basically so with the one shot ability changes happening to the new war zone i'm really excited to try snipers out this year you guys know from warzone one i was one of the biggest snipers in the rebirth community not really i'm just saying that just to you know pat myself on the back but as you can see man it one shots from 50 meters out if this was last year's sniper it, it would probably two or three shot the, the last guy so but with the sniper you guys are going to want to pair it up with the wsp stinger which is pretty much the little brother of the wsp swarm which is a submachine gun but you can pretty much do whatever you want with this build i mean i put on a kimbo because i feel like it, i'm just going to be using this up close i'd probably use you know a submachine gun with this sniper build but i just want to give you guys a variety of different loadouts that you guys could try for the class setup we have a kimbo 32 round mag hollow point ammunition the one milliwatt pistol laser now for loadout number five we have the dg 58 which is a burst assault rifle now burst weapons are back they kind of disappeared 
we had like the FAMAS and Warzone 1 and then Warzone 2 there really wasn't any burst weapons besides like the M16 and that thing was straight garbage all year bro I I don't think I ever made a M16 video for Warzone 2 I mean correct me if I'm wrong but the M16 was complete garbage bro so I'm kind of glad to see that these uh, burst weapons in Modern Warfare 3 are actually viable. We have the 40 round mag, the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop, the Zulu 60 muzzle, the DG58 LS18 barrel, and then finally for the optic, we have the slate reflector. Now for the secondary, we're rocking the Striker SMG, one of my favorite SMGs in Modern Warfare 3 right now. A lot of people love the Rival 9. I love the Rival 9 as well, but I would prefer the Striker over the Rival 9. I don't know. I just feel a lot more comfortable using this thing. I feel like the iron sights are a lot clean the recoil is a lot more controllable for the attachments we have the tac grip rear grip the 48 round meg the x10 phantom 5 hand stop the t51 billeted break s muzzle the striker recon long barrel there's the best striker 9 class for the next class we have a shotgun we have the riveter this shotgun is a little bit weird to me because it got a really bad hip fire but like if you ads down with it and use it at range i mean this thing is not that bad i mean that's 25 meters or 20 meters ahead of me and this thing is not that hard to control either it looks bouncy but i'm telling you i'm barely holding down my right stick for the class we have the 30 round mag the ftag sp10 angled grip the jcxl suppressed barrel the fss ole laser v make sure it's the v1 and then the slate reflector now for loadout number seven we have the kvd enforcer now this gun surprised me the most just because of how easy it is to use and how powerful it can be at range it is a marksman rifle and i feel like they're gonna be a lot more powerful this year than they were last year i mean that was just three shots fully plated up and uh i mean this thing just does not move at all bro this thing does not move at all. Here's the class setup for it. We have the 15 round mag, the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop, the Purifier muzzle break L, the Cast 10 584 millimeter mod barrel, and then finally we have the SZ Recharge DX optic. Now for loadout number eight, we have the MTZ 556, one of my favorite assault rifles in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. I don't know why, I just enjoy the like faster assault rifles, and this is definitely one of them. Uh, it's also got great range, as you can see. The recoil is not that bad on it, and uh, I don't know. You could just definitely give some kids the movement with this uh, assault rifle kind of feels like an smg you could probably build it as an smg but uh yeah i just had to feature it in this video so here is the mtz 556 we have the 50 round drum mag the x10 phantom 5 hand stop the x10 ported 290 muzzle the mtz clinch pro barrel and then finally for the optic we have the slight reflector and then for the secondary we have the striker 9 the other striker smg in the game there's actually two of them uh, this one is the uh, later unlock i believe but uh yeah i honestly like this one compared to the first one for some reason i feel like the visual recoil on this smg is a lot cleaner there's not as much recoil the iron sights are a lot cleaner if that makes any sense but the range on it is not that bad the damage on it is pretty good the movement obviously is really good on it so we have the 50 round drum mag the sick and zx grip the x10 phantom 5 hand stop the t51 billeted brakes s muzzle the striker recon long barrel and that is the class setup for that now for loadout number nine we are taking a look at the mtz 762 this gun kind of reminds me of the tac v from warzone 2 for some reason it just does it's got a slow fire rate the damage range on it is okay the recoil on it is controllable but can be bouncy at sometimes tag v was really good in warzone so i'm just guessing this battle rifle will be so for the attachments we have the 30 round mag the mtz factory rear grip the mk.3 reflector optic the, the mtz precision blackthorn barrel and then the t51r billeted break l muzzle and then for the secondary we threw on the renettis i mean i had to show some love to the renettis in this video it can go up to 10 meters Oh, good luck trying to use it any further than that movement on it is pretty good if fire controls on it pretty good i'm really excited to try this class setup on day one so here's the attachments we have the ft steel fire muzzle the x10 sidearm l400 laser the akimbo attachment the 30 round mag and the bruin trigger express and for the last class we have the tac eradicator which is a brand new lmg and modern warfare 3 you just got to do a couple of challenges to unlock the gun and honestly i think it's worth unlocking it's one of the better lmgs it has great mobility uh, in speed for an LMG. I mean, I'm moving pretty fast. I mean, you could use this up close, man. It's definitely viable. And I can see it being very good on day one. I definitely recommend doing those challenges. I'll actually show you guys how to unlock it. So you want to go to the event tab, go down to the bottom weekly challenges, go all the way to week four. And you can even play zombies. If you play zombies, there's zombie challenges. All you have to do is complete five, as you can see. There's also a camo you unlock, so I think it's definitely worth it you know, if you play enough. So we have the FSS Combat Rear Grip, the X10 Phantom 5 Hand Stop, the ZLR Talon 5 Muzzle, 
the Conquer 70 long barrel, and then the TAC Revert Core stock for the last attachment. So there you guys go. Those are 10 loadouts that you guys should definitely try out on day one of the new Warzone map. Let me know any other loadout that you guys want me to try out in this upcoming Warzone, man. I'm really excited, like I said. So hope you guys do enjoy today's video. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys did, but uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.